Welcome to our lecture online. Here's a very interesting problem and a very revealing problem if you want to understand electromagnetic radiation a little bit better. So let's see how much understanding we have to see if we can actually answer this question. All right, the question reads, a plain electromagnetic wave of frequency 500 megahertz is traveling in a vacuum along the Y direction. At a particular point in space and time, the magnetic field is equal to 8 times 10 to the minus 8 teslas in the z direction. The value of the electric field at this point is, and we get four possible answers. Also notice that two of the answers are positive and two of the answers are negative, and magnitude-wise, these are the same and those are the same. So it can either be 2.6 or 24 and positive or negative. Let's first manage the magnitude of the electric field first. So we should realize that the magnetic field strength E is equal to the magnetic field strength times the speed of light. So in that case, that would be equal to uh, 8 times 10 to the minus 8 multiplied times 3 times 10 to the 8. And so that gives us 24 and those cancels out, so just simply 24. Magnitude-wise, and of course, that would be volts per meter or newtons per coulomb. And in this case, we can see that the answer would either be C or D. We can then get rid of A and B. So, that's the magnitude. But what about the sign? How do we figure out the sign? Well, to do that, we have to realize that the pointing vector, the vector along the direction of motion of the electric field, is going to be equal to 1 over mu sub naught times E cross B. And that is really important to realize it's E cross B. So E comes first, then B comes first, then B comes next in order to find the direction of the pointing vector. And they tell us that the direction is in the Y direction. So let's draw the three-dimensional coordinate space. So here we have the Z direction, here we have the Y direction, and here we have the X direction. And notice that the magnetic field is pointing in the Z direction. So let's assume that the magnetic field is oscillating like this, and of course the direction of motion is in the Y direction. So the pointing vector points in that direction. Now, in order to point in this direction, in order to have E cross B, notice that the electric field needs to be in this direction when the magnetic field is up and in this direction when the magnetic field is down. In this direction when the magnetic field is up and this direction when the magnetic field is down. Let's go ahead like that. So notice that here, this here is the magnetic field and this here is the electric field and notice using the right hand we point our fingers into the direction of the electric field which in this case is pointing in the negative x direction then we curl our fingers in the direction of the magnetic field which is up in the z direction and our thumb points in the direction of the electromagnetic motion so it's E cross B causes a motion in this direction so that means that the electric field, at the moment that the magnetic field is pointing in the positive z direction, the magnetic field must be pointing in the negative x direction. So essentially, the pointing vector, which is in the y direction, is equal to 1 over mu sub naught times the, the negative 3 times 10 to the... Oh, actually, I'll take that back. Because that's not the speed of light. It's going to be the negative... 24 volts per meter in the x direction so notice in the, it's in the negative x direction we cross that with the positive b field which is uh, 8 times 10 to the minus 8 teslas in the positive z direction and notice negative x cross positive z gives us positive y so this gives us a positive y direction for the direction of the motion of the electric magnetic field and so therefore, since we need a negative x direction, the proper answer is answer D, because that gives us the negative 24 volts per meter in the x direction. And that is how it's done.